All right, I've spent about a week using the updated HP Spectre X360 for 2023. If you aren't familiar with the Spectre, here's the good things. It's a very lightweight, premium feeling device with a 13.5 inch 3 by 2 aspect ratio screen so you can see more information going down the page. You can get it with either a stunning high resolution OLED panel, which is what I have, or a lower resolution IPS one. It is also a touchscreen, which works really well. It has one of the most comfortable keyboards I've ever used and its trackpad is great too. Plus, it's a two-in-one, so it can be used as a tablet. Unlike other Windows 2-in-1s, because of how lightweight it is, it's actually pretty comfortable to use in that form factor. And yes, it comes with a pen and a case. Now, this year's model is basically a spec bump up from Intel's 12th to 13th gen processor, but what seems like a minor update really has resulted in two bits of good news. Firstly, if you plan to use this laptop for casual use, which is what I feel the laptop should be used for, browsing the web, working on office documents, and that sort of thing, I now feel I can recommend it. The laptop is a bit snappier, and fan noise and the warmth you feel while using the laptop is minimal enough to not be distracting. Look, in total transparency, you still will hear fan noise if you are close to the laptop in a room that is dead silent. But as far as Windows laptops go, as I said, it's minimal. Anything like air conditioning running, typing on a keyboard will drown it out. And when it comes to the warmth you feel, it's a similar story. It's there, but it's honestly less than what you'd feel using a MacBook Air. The second good thing is that this new model has now made last year's model ludicrously cheap. Heck, I found that model starting at $799 US dollars, which is crazy. At that price, it's a complete steal and you probably should buy it. I'll place a link down below to where I found these crazy prices. Make sure you keep checking the links though as the sales do come and go. I could honestly just end the review here as that's the story, but you probably want a bit more meat to the bone, so here you go. I have the i7-1355U variant, which I'm happy about. Low powered U series processors are the right ones to put into laptops like this one that do not have robust cooling solutions. Other manufacturers are still shoving higher powered P series processors inside their small laptops and they are a mess, as those devices they just can't cool that processor and it results in loud fan noise and a hot feeling laptop. So here's how it performs. In Geekbench, which tests a variety of common performance tasks, you'll notice that this laptop performs slightly better than last year's model. And switching to the newer Geekbench 6, you can see that this laptop performs decently enough in single core, but towards the back end of the pack in multi-core. This laptop is really not for anyone requiring performance, say a software developer, it really is for lightweight users only. It's very similar in performance to a MacBook Air with M1, the one that came out in 2020. None of this is a surprise though, as these U-series processors, they only have two performance cores compared to the four in the P-series. But I think the trade-off for a quieter, cooler feeling laptop is worth it. Switching to Cinebench, which tests the performance while the processor is maxed out. We can see another slight bump, around 10%. And looking at the power envelope, we can see that this year's model is fed the same amount of power as last year's, around 18 watts on balance mode and 29 watts on performance mode. And when you look at the heat you'd feel when the laptop is under full load, it's a degree or two cooler, which you do notice. In fact, under load, this laptop feels cooler than a MacBook Pro 14, which is considered the gold standard for what heat you should expect to feel while using a laptop. Looking at fan noise when under full load, when on balance mode, the laptop isn't that loud. I personally would not advise running this laptop on performance mode. Even though it does perform a good amount better in multi-core, I just don't think the trade-off for significantly louder fan noise is worth it on a device like this. And by the way, sorry to keep mentioning fan noise and heat, but that has been the primary issue that has plagued these thin and light Windows laptops. All right, although I do recommend this laptop, it isn't perfect. So here is what I don't like about it. Both charging capable ports are on the right side, so you will have to run a cable around the back if your outlet is on the other side of the laptop, which can get in your way. Speakers are loud enough, but the quality is really subpar for a premium laptop in 2023. The headphone jack on my unit emitted a lot of static, making it unusable. I hope this is just on my one, but if you need a headphone jack and this happens on yours, just send it back. Battery life was good enough, but I am a little disappointed. I lowered the screen's brightness to 200 nits, played a Netflix video on repeat over Wi-Fi for four hours. At the end of the test, I had 54% battery remaining, which is almost identical to last year's model. So a bit over eight hours of use should be achievable for this use case. I was hoping for more. If you choose the model with lower resolution display, you'll likely get a little bit longer battery life. Lastly, I'd recommend you avoid buying the silver model and get a darker colored model like mine instead. The silver model has light colored keys with a light colored backlight. This makes the keys very hard to read from certain angles if you have the backlight on. Oh, and I forgot to talk about the webcam. It's actually not too bad. So 
Overall, we have a laptop here that I do recommend. It's a bit faster than last year's model and it feels cooler to the touch while using it and it has minimal fan noise when in balance mode or HP SmartSense. Plus it has all the benefits we know and love about this laptop. Just make sure you watch pricing. I do not think my configuration of this laptop is worth the $1,800 that Best Buy has it listed at. This laptop is well known to go on regular rotating sales at both Best Buy and HP for amounts of say $200 off or $400 off and for that price, I do think it's worth it. Well, that's all for today, folks. Short video today, I hoped you liked it. If you did, you know what to do. Smash that like button and get subscribed. Not only does it show your appreciation for the insane amount of work that goes into making these or normally when they're longer videos, but as I always say, it makes my mother very proud. Till next time, go do something awesome with your day and I will catch you later.